Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at how we can use auto paint to create melting and blowing off type of effects. In order to do this what I've got is I've got some text that was created in the text module. Let's go ahead and choose the paint option and load this clip as a front into the paint module. Once we're inside the paint module we want to now go ahead and start creating the melting effect. To do this make sure you switch to auto paint and change the options from wipe to user. Essentially we want to record the brush strokes that we've created. Now set the size of your brush up to whatever size you would like it to be melting at and from here you can then choose the paint mode. The paint mode is what we would use to actually smear and get the text to move off screen. In order to do this I'm going to use a custom mode and from there we'll choose the smear medium. From here you can then begin to just smear the text off the screen like this. You can have as many strokes as you like and that will increase the effect that you're creating. In this case I'm just going to go ahead and from the top I'm simply just going to smear all the pixels until they're completely disappeared off the screen. Once I'm happy with what I have here and we've now got a clean frame you hit play and this will then commit the auto paint strokes into the system. Now make sure you've got animation turned on and enable the wireframe so we can see exactly how our strokes are going to be applied over time. Now I'd like all the strokes to happen simultaneously so I'm going to go ahead and turn on stroke this means they'll all stroke at the exact same time and I'm also going to enable the option known as distance which means all the strokes will paint at the exact same velocity. At this point in time you can see how the painting strokes will basically occur from the first frame to the last. Let's say we want to maybe decrease this amount we can just grab the handles and make the adjustment. So let's say I wanted to start in at 5 frames and then finish off let's say around about at 25. If I was now to go to frame 1, we hit process, the system will then go through the whole process and begin to melt the text or blow it off the screen. As I mentioned before, you can use any type of brush you want to create this effect. You could even look at using the warp brush, the drag brush, you could use the cloning stamps to do all different type of effects. This is just one little good example of how you can very quickly use the paint tool and auto paint to create very textury organic type of movements within pixels which uh, normally you may have to rely on a lot of different tools to do this so it's a very very useful tool in order to create this type of effect. Once we're happy with what we've got we're now going to take the result that the paint tool is created and then we're going to just quickly recomp it in action so that I can just give you an idea of what the final will then look like. So coming back out to the desktop you can see that the system has now created our file that's got the melt me text on it. Now just to make this move a little bit more smoother one of the things that you can do and this is an extra tip is you can go to your video tools and in the video tools choose average maybe choose to average over about three or four frames and what this will simply do is it'll take all the pixels and smooth and average them out over time. This means that that movement will be a lot cleaner. If I was to take the melt me text that I've now created let's go ahead and load this into action so I'm going to use a color for the front, we'll use a background and we'll also take the averaged melt me text. If I then load this up into action and we simply add this in as a layer you can see that's the result that we're getting. What we may want to do is if I just wanted to add a shadow onto this for example, if I just added a shadow effect onto this and let's say for example we were to take the shadow and give it a bit of a blur you can see how this will all be integrated as part of that melting effect. To have a look at the result once again we simply process this out the system will then process the frames and if we play this back in the player I'm using ping pong mode we can see what it would look like if it was melting off the screen or if it was melting on the screen.